pizza. I don't know the rest of it. I kind of just figured it out before I pushed record. What's up guys, it's C3. And the reason you're watching this video is because you want to learn more about why I switched to a different digital audio workstation. DAW, recording software, audio mixing software, whatever you want to call it. Um, if you've been following my channel and have seen any of my videos prior to about January of 2016, you'll have noticed that I mostly have used a program called called Adobe Audition. For about five years or so is how long I used that software, and I just switched to a different program called Reaper. I'll tell you more about that software in a second here. Um, but to give you a little backstory, why was I using Adobe Audition in the first place? Well, there's a good reason for that. I have a brother-in-law that works for Adobe here in Utah, and I got their, I think it's called their production Adobe production suite or something for I believe a hundred dollars so that includes audition which is the DAW it includes Premiere Pro which is the video editing software I use and Photoshop Illustrator Encore flash stuff that I don't ever use um, so anyway it was super cheap so the main reason I got that for him from him like five years ago is because I wanted audition and I wanted Premiere Pro and Photoshop. So <clears throat> why pay uh, like $800 for Pro Tools when I could just use the included audition that I got with that package? So I started using it. I really fell in love with it. It's a, a really great software. The plugins, like the stock plugins that come with it are some of the best plugins I've ever used. The EQs, the compressors, the reverbs, the delays and everything are just so awesome. They work so well. They sound so good. It, it's just a great software. Um, surprisingly, the version that I had, which was version five, version five, it didn't come with a metronome. Yeah, every version before that and every version since then has had a metronome, but the version that I had did not. It also didn't have MIDI support, um, meaning it, it wouldn't let me plug in a keyboard and played virtual instruments. It wouldn't let me do that. Those were like the two main drawbacks. And so I put up with it for a long time. I shouldn't say put up with it because I've mostly just recorded acoustic instruments anyway. Um, but in uh, December of last year, my brother-in-law, he makes music and he had uh, Native Instruments complete uh, like plugin package that had a ton, I think it was like a couple hundred gigs worth of stuff on there. Uh, mostly virtual instruments, a number of different plugins. Um, and he had two copies of it because he'd bought an upgrade. And anyway, he gave me a copy of it and it was like, awesome. I need software that can actually use this stuff. And Adobe Audition won't let me use MIDI. So I looked into it. I was pretty set on just getting Pro Tools because that's like what a lot, not everybody, but a lot of um, main studios use and it's I've seen it in action in the studios that I recorded in with my bands and stuff it's just good it's really good software but it's it's quite expensive and it should be I think software that does what it does should be expensive but I in my research I came across Reaper which is pretty much freaking free in fact it's $60 for the license for like the individual license you get a free 60-day trial um, and it's just it's amazing, powerful software. Um, maybe some of the stuff, I don't really like the reverb stock plugin that comes with it. It's a little difficult to use. Um, other than that, I think it's it's great. It does everything you need it to do. It, it has like very low CPU power usage. So um, it, it's just intuitive. It's a lot of people compare it to Pro Tools in a sense that it's, it's on par with the top of the line stuff out there and it's $60. I think whatever software you currently have is, it should be for now at least good enough. Even if you're just using free software, if you're using Audacity, um, but you're still pretty new to this whole thing and you're just learning how to do some of the very basics, then stick with Audacity. Learn the crap out of it. And when you reach the limit where you're like, sorry, 
When you reach the limit where you're like, okay, I'm constantly running into some of the same limitations of my software, that's when you upgrade. I think that's when you um, shell out the money for something else. Um, and as far as I can tell, I would recommend Reaper because it's so inexpensive, but it's gonna do something that $700 software would do for you as well. So that's why I've switched to Reaper and that's it, bye.